What's up guys? So, as promised, um, we're going to do a little clean and cook for you on the burbot that we caught yesterday. So this video there's not going to be any fishing, we're just going to clean a burbot and we're going to show you a couple different ways how to cook it. So, got Nellie here, the fish dog. Say hi Nell. She's going to watch me clean some fish. So, let's get after it. I already cleaned one for a little bit of practice so keep in mind I'm no burbot expert this is just how I learned how to do it so let's do it alright so what you're gonna need is a pair of pliers I got a snub nose here and I also have a needle nose um, this one's probably the best Filet knife, I got a 8 inch bubble blade. So, grab ourselves a burbot here. Nice big burbot. I'm going to kind of bend them back straight. So, first step grab your knife. And we're going to make a cut all the way around. I'm going to start on the top of his head here. Kind of right behind the gills. Make sure you have a sharp knife. And we're going to go all the way around his body. Just like that. So now you have an incision all the way around. You don't have to cut through the meat or bone or anything, you just want to make sure that... Oop, missed a spot there. Make sure that it's cut all the way around. Now, grab your pliers. Grab a hold of that skin. And just start ripping. Just like that. So there we go. Got his skin all the way off. Now, basically, if you know how to clean a walleye or any other any other type of fish, you just do the same thing. It's a little bit difficult on these, I found, to try and find the spine, but you can see right here where his um, where his fin was, his dorsal fin. So you can kind of line it up with that, and then the rib cage is right in here. So I'm going to start there, which is on the back side of his rib cage. Start cutting all the way down, just like you would any other fish. Follow that backbone. And they are slimy, they're hard to hold on to. So there's the back of the fillet right there. Now we're going to work on those ribs. Try and follow that backbone as best as you can without cutting through the ribs. Okay, so now we are down to the ribs on this side and just go right over those ribs. It's a little bit tricky on these. Not too bad though. So there we go. And there is your burbot filet. Like I said, I'm not the greatest on these. Haven't done too many, so I missed a little bit of meat there, but not too bad. Cut his dorsal fin off here. And that is your completely boneless burbot filet. Same thing on the other side, just as easy as that. Flip 
flip them over there start at that dorsal fin on the back side of the ribs go all the way through try and keep them as steady as you can these things are slimy messed up a little bit on that one Poke that through, follow the backbone. It's kind of hard to follow the backbone on these because <clears throat> they are so disproportional, like they're like snakes, basically. So they like their backbone moves around a lot. <clears throat> Cut around the ribs. <clears throat> Kind of butchered this side a little bit, but it's not too bad. There you go. Burbot filet number two. Get quite a bit of meat off of them. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other meat you can take off of them. I don't know if guys keep the cheeks or what. Feels like there's some meat there. Maybe I'll try it. Not really sure though. I've never heard of anybody cooking burbot cheeks. Maybe I'll be the first one. Huh. There is some meat there. I don't know how I'm going to get the skin off. Oh, it just peels right off. Huh, look at that. Burbot cheek. <laughs> Maybe we'll try frying that up. Kind of tricky. one. Nah, I'd probably say that's a waste of time. But I got one out pretty good. Alright, that is your cleaned burbot. Missed a little bit of meat, but I'm still learning. Before we clean the rest of those burbot, probably wondering why this was on there. Nelly's gonna do a trick for you. Come here. Sit. She's a good girl. Stay. Look at the concentration. Nelly. Yeah. That's a good girl. She likes watching me clean fish. Yeah, don't ya. Alright guys, now that we got our burbot all cleaned up here, we're gonna rinse it off in the sink. Make sure there's no bones, all that type of stuff. And then we are going to put some salt water in here and let it sit in the fridge. Let it firm up and get all that blood out of the meat. So just I like to go through every single fillet make sure there's no bones take them out if there is and then like I said we'll put them back in the bowl put some fresh water in there with a little bit of salt and put that in the fridge alright so there's our freshly cleaned burbot fillets on a little bit of water put some salt in there you don't need too much that'll just help get rid of the blood mix Mix that all in, nice and salty. Just like that, make sure all your fillets are covered with water.
And there you go. Put this in the fridge and let it sit. Alright guys, welcome to our kitchen. We are getting everything ready to cook up the burbot three different ways. Um, first thing we're going to be doing right now is baking them. Krista's getting the breading ready. So we got our burbot over here. I'm going to dice these up, bread them up, and put them in the pan, put them in the oven. Oven is set for 425. And what's that got to be in like 20 minutes? 20 to 25. 20 to 25 minutes at 425. So what do we all got in there? Panko breadcrumbs, parmesan, cajun, garlic powder, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Alright, so we got the burbot all cut up here into nice chunks for the oven. I tried to pick like the biggest meteor fillets for this so we can cook them a little bit longer. So Chris is going to show you what we're doing here now. I'm going to dip it in the flour. Get it nice and coated full of flour. Then it's going to go into an egg wash. Make sure it's got a lot of egg on it so the breadcrumbs stick to it. Alright, let's see what we got. There you go, there's your breadcrumb coated burbot filet. Make sure to spray the pan with some paint. So she sprayed some Pam in the pan so it doesn't stick. Now we're going to just load up that tray. So we have the baked burbot all ready to go here and Krista is just going to put a little bit of lemon juice on each filet. Just a little dab will do ya. Just like that. Perfect. And then we're going to pop them in the oven. Got it. The oven's set at 425 and we are going to set the timer for 20 minutes. I don't even know how to work this thing. Oh my goodness. Start. Alright, so that's in. Alright, now we are going to do the deep fried burbot. Basically the same process. We're going to put it in the flour here. Then into the egg wash. And the breading that I'm doing today is this Andy's fish fry. Um, you can get it at Fleet Farm, wherever. Um, and then that also has the panko breadcrumbs in it also. Makes it a little bit crispier. Um, this is just Andy's yellow breading. So Chris is making those up, putting them on a plate, and then we will throw them in the deep fryer. Alright, well Krista is still breading those for the deep fryer. Um, now we're going to go to our third and final way we're going to cook the burbot, and this is boiling them in 7-Up. So I'm going to dump this in here and bring that up to a boil. Okay, our 7-Up is boiling, so we're just going to add the fillets to that right now. I'm not an expert on this, but I'm pretty sure once they start to float, they are done. Alright, so we got them boiling. Alright, welcome to the garage. My beautiful boat. Kind of messy right now. I've been tying crawler harness rigs and all that stuff, but that's a whole nother deal. 
and my fish tank, my minnow tank. All right, so we have the breaded fish here, ready to go in. Ready to drop it in the deep fryer. I think I'll be able to do all this in one shot. Maybe two rounds. Put them in there gently to keep the crust on. Deep fried burbot. There she is. That looks pretty good. All right, second batch is going in. Rule number one when deep frying fish, always have a cold bush light. Alright, second batch is coming out. Ooh, crispy goodness. Alright, so here's our boiling burbot in the 7-Up. It's floating around, so that looks done. I'm going to dump it in the strainer here. A little steamy. Sure my GoPro's all fogged up now. Alright, there is the boiled burbot. That looks pretty good too. Gotta get everything on camera. God. Ready? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Chris is gonna take the burbot out of the oven here. That looks pretty good. Got enough hot pads? No. <laughs> All right. There is our Parmesan crusted burbot in the oven. All right, guys. So somehow we timed this all perfectly, and it's all still hot. Teamwork. Teamwork. So we have the baked burbot the boiled burbot, and the deep fried burbot. Krista Hi. is our taste tester. <laughs> Good, I'm starving. Give you a little bit of each. Here, you can pick those out of there. That looks like a good plate there. Which one are you going for first? The She's going for the baked first. Now you got to be honest. Come on. <laughs> good crunch. Good crunch. That one's good. Is it good? It tastes just like chicken. Just like chicken, she says. <laughs> now she's going for the boiled burbot. Oh yeah, dipping it in butter, melted butter. That one looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So that's the boiled burbot in 7-Up. So that's the poor man's lobster. The poor man's lobster. That's what that's, what that's all about right there. That's my number one. That's your number one? Yep. All right. Deep fried. Eat it with the hands. No ketchup, so you know it's real. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, which one? One, two, and three. What you got? Honestly, this is one, and I think these two are tied. Ooh, a tie? They're very good. Is that legal? Yes, it's legal. In my <laughs> world. <laughs> I don't know, I think they're all great. Alright, guys, there you have it. There is your clean and cook video. If you didn't see the catch video, go back. That was the one prior. Caught a bunch of bourbon on Lake Winnebago. It was an awesome time. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, let us know. We'll do more. If you have any recipes of your own, let us know. You know, share what you got. So, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye. Say bye. Oh, Nellie says bye too. She wants a plate. <laughs> See you later.